Get oh, out. Boy. Oh, we got a lot of good stuff to get to. <laughs> the stuff Charlie. we talk about in the break. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. We're going to uh, There's no bill us. Right? <laughs> a billable right. hour. Start. Start. Yeah, did you start the clock on that conversation? Start right now. Yeah. Start. Let's do it. So we'll begin with this story. So some are questioning Attorney General Dana Nessel about a recent vacation she took to the Caribbean. There are claims the bill for the trip was paid for by a Trevor City law firm. So first of all, do we know that this is true, Charlie? And if so, is there a problem? Well, if, if the issue is whether or not it's true, I think that that was the, what the Detroit News reported, uh, as Charlie LaDuff's the story. Um, right. I think he confirmed with the hotel, which gave the names and of the attorney general and her uh, her uh, people that she was with. So Party I think that, that she was let's, with, ass yeah. let's assume for the moment that it's a true story that she went there. Let's also assume that it's true. Now I don't know who paid for it necessarily, but here's the issue. We well, did check the bill, and the he, person who paid he, for he, it, he, his name was, was there. The lawyer yeah, paid Kelly for it. Newman, yes. uh, an attorney, and it was charged to the Kelly Newman law firm. There you go. So, but here's and it the was deal. a substantial bill. This may 80, not be relevant, but eighty-six hundred dollars per night at the Ritz Carlton. Per night, eighty-six hundred per night. Per night. night. Mm. For per the, night. Yeah. Now there are multiple people I understand in the penthouse, but it was right. the penthouse of the Ritz Carlton. Okay. Okay. So, so the issue is, can a law firm pay for the attorney general? to go to the Ritz Carlton in the Caribbean? And I think the short answer is yes, they can. I agree. I don't think there's any legal problem. Now, a couple of exceptions. If the person paying is a lobbyist, there's a law against that. If this person charges it to the campaign, there are laws against right. campaign contributions. Oh, we know that. And then the right. catch-all, we know that. Um, and then the catch-all would be if there's a conflict of interest. So, mm. if this person has an actual case, case. in front of the Attorney General, right. Uh, or they're investig Attorney General is investigating this law firm, then maybe there should be some recusal. But I don't see any of these. But uh, any lawyer practicing or uh, somebody who owns a law firm in Michigan, wouldn't there potentially be a conflict of interest with the Attorney General? Well, potential is potential. Uh, but the Attorney General, well, theoretically, I guess, can investigate anything, but I don't think so. I don't think just because you become a public figure, right. you give up your right to have a vacation somewhere. And, okay. and the, um, other, the other side of that is, is she's a lawyer that went through law school with a bunch of people here in Michigan. They're all probably I mean, her friends. A lot of them are lawyers because yeah. they all went to law school together. Oh, okay. They're probably having a weekend down. They say, hey, you pay for the rooms, we pay for the dinner. It could be very innocent where one person pays for one thing, yeah. other person pays for another. I, I think the comparisons made, you know, we, we're hearing rumors about Justice Clarence Thomas and some of the right. conflict of interest in the U.S. Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And again, if there's an influence on a case, that could be a problem. That would be the conflict of interest. I put them into categories, campaign violations, lobby, because there's a law on that, or conflicts of interest, by, because you have to have an actual skin in the game. I don't see it here. Okay. Uh, Dana Nessel, by the way, said she does not pay for any, uh, I don't know if she paid for this particular trip, but she does not take uh, trips from lobbyists, and she's made that very, very clear. So hmm. uh, I think even though maybe it doesn't look good necessarily, but I don't, even, like, I don't think it looks that bad. I think it's legal, totally legal. Strangely silent on this side of the table. I, I, well, <laughs> I, 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 have a con, I have a conflict. I know Kelly Newman. Oh, I went okay. to high school with her, right. so I don't. I recuse myself out. from the uh, conversation. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. Was that a legal so, term? Yeah. Just yeah. Can she pay a eighty six hundred bucks? Has she I, paid for your vacation? I went, <laughs> yeah. Have you been on that plane? Uh, she's a great person. I. Uh, she's a great person. I have uh, no, nothing to say out. regarding right. this. There you go. Well, we agree. I don't think she did anything wrong. So I think it's okay. Respect, man. I was wondering why. <laughs> yeah. All right. I have nothing to uh, add to this should, topic. We, you wow. should make a call to Kelly Newman and say yeah. what was the nature I'd like of to, would she trip. talk to me? I I, she talk. might. I mean, she's a great person. Uh, I don't, yeah, she's a great person. I haven't talked to her in 20 years, but, uh, She'll remember you know. You. Well, uh, I'm sure she will. Jeez. I'm a memorable guy. <laughs> <laughs> and so forget. is she. Hard to forget. You know, so Listen, is she. Listen, I mean, so. I think it happens. And again, I think what Louis is saying, I mean, you know, uh, my wife's a judge. I mean, we know judges. Lawyers we know, know lawyers. Things. Lawyers know lawyers. Yeah. lawyers yeah. Uh, uh, media people know media people. I mean, it's just kind of the way it yeah. is. And yeah. again, as long as it, 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 if you don't know, like the law, change the law. But I don't think it's going to be changed mm. too much. Right. Right. So mm. I think we're okay here. Yeah, we Interesting uh, fodder, nonetheless. Oh, yes. Oh, and yes. Uh, I'd like to see that $800. $8,600 night, night room. I understand night. a pretty nice place. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we come back, we're going to talk about a story that it got a lot of attention. Uh, somebody's dog is shot yeah. by a... Wayne State University police officer. Yep. Uh, so we're going to break down the legalities of the case coming up.
Oh boy, this was a tough one. A Wayne State police officer accused of shooting a dog in the face mm. is not facing charges. Officers say they were performing a welfare check. The Golden Doodle charged at one of them. Fox 2 Charlie Langton is back with more. Interesting case, Charlie, because yeah. the word charged, first of all, is that an important legal word to yes. defend shooting? Because I have a golden doodle and he runs up to people yeah. uh, to tail wagging to say hi. Is so that charging? I, we, we do have video. I, oh, I don't, is that it? Now there's yeah. the video. Okay, so the cops are going to a welfare check in Wayne State. You can see in the far left corner the dog going out to do its business. The dog sees the police and then does charge. We didn't. We couldn't show all of the right, video right. because then the the police officer fires two shots. Mm. One of them hit uh, Ace's the Golden Doodle's name in the mouth. Aww. Sixteen stitches, a couple of lost teeth, uh, but otherwise Aww, he uh, he's, so doing right. <laughs> he's doing all right. He's doing all right. He's hurting a little. Is bit. that Ace? Yeah. That's yeah. Ace right there. Oh my he's gosh. Okay. Yeah. Ace, yeah. Ace is a. Right it's there. a miracle. Yeah. It's a miracle. Yeah. But the but the, so the legal issues. Number one is there could there be criminal charges against the police officer for shooting at Ace. The chief of police talked to yesterday, didn't even submit this to the prosecutor for a review. The, they ruled that if a dog is charging you and the officer reasonably believes that he is in fear of his life because of this dog, the officer can shoot the dog. And that was it. So that's it. Now, could the owner of the dog sue civilly for money because of what the officer did? And the short answer to this question is an interesting one. You can sue for anything yes. in the world. What are you going to collect, even if the officer is negligent? And I don't think the officer is, but assuming the officer was, you can't get pain and suffering for the death of your dog. Wow. So what about medical bills, though? You can get medical bills. They're about a thousand dollars, I understand, and you can get the value of the dog. This is a ten-year-old golden doodle. I don't know how much they're worth, but probably. In the grand scope of things, I mean, we're just talking money. I'm not saying anything bad about the dog. It's a great dog, but it's there's a there's a finite number. Mm. Even like a veterinarian goes and commits malpractice, medical malpractice mm. on the dog, mm. you can't sue the veterinarian for pain and suffering. Mm. That's against. We don't for have your that pain and suffering. For your pain and suffering. Or the Correct. dog's pain and or suffering. Or the dog's pain and suffering. All right. Correct. That's just the way it is. It's kind of a weird thing. Dogs are considered chattel in the old English world. Property. It's all they are. Mm. So if I break your computer, the only thing you can get from me is the value of this computer. That's it. Mm. I, you can't get paid in suffering for a thing. Okay. A dog is a thing. I see. So that's in the, the civil the side. Law. Right. In the eyes of the law. Right. In the eyes of the law. It so is an interesting kind of distinction, though, and I don't know, I'm sure they're trained for this, because dogs, there's a fine line between uh, knowing the dog's body language when a dog is going to attack you. I see some dogs in my neighborhood that I feel like they're coming for me, and it's just they have a big bark yeah. or a big body. Yeah. And yeah. it's hard to Distinct, yeah, distinction, distinguish distinction. between it, it, a friendly dog and an aggressive dog. And if you look at that video, the officer kind of almost had his back to him, kind of almost the back to the dog. It's dark. It's a black yeah. dog coming yeah. from the bushes. Right. What, yeah. what, does he, what does he know except something's yeah. coming up to... Yeah. To, something's charging him. So. There were two oh, other officers. There were three officers total. I mean, could the other officers? But the problem is if the dog starts latching on to you, then it could get really well, that's too different, though. Too. But you don't but, know that until the dog gets to you. But you don't know. But the, yeah. So no criminal. And I don't know anything so. about dogs, really. Oh, like, you yeah. know what I mean? I, in, in all fair, like, so, I mean, it seems harsh, but you don't know one breed yeah. from the next. If you're not a no. dog person, you don't know one breed's tendencies compared to the other. Well, they, 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 all they, they should be trained, though. <laughs> they all but, have teeth. Uh, they all have But they should be trained to understand. And also, yeah. if if you're if a dog is out to go to the bathroom and somebody walks up, a dog is going to, even my super friendly, harmless dog, is going <laughs> to start barking. And yeah. that's what the dogs are supposed to do, alert yeah. you yeah. that there's a... Right. You know, somebody. Uh, I should recuse or... myself from this uh, discussion <laughs> as well I because too. I am still. I should too. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 Go to the right. kitchen. Right. Right. Oh, it's a, it's a sad Bobby story. In there, anybody? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the dog. I'm glad that the dog is Dogs okay. Yeah, the He's dog is going to be really, really yeah. yeah. survive. Yeah. So, uh, but it is kind of sad. Let it rip tonight, Charlie. Uh, yes, yes. We're going to be talking about uh, electric vehicles. Are, is, is the public ready 
for the uh, EVs. Are they Are the car ready? makers ready? Yeah, are mean, the yeah. car makers is, ready? Is the infrastructure ready? Right. Is the Sounds infrastructure like ready? is anybody ready? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be a good discussion. We'll go. have some fun with that. Yeah. 10 30 bring that price down, right. too. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. just too expensive for yeah. most people. And charging right. stations, too. Well, that's, that's another, infrastructure. Uh, yeah. infrastructure. Yeah. All right. Very uh, good stuff, Charlie. Thank good you. Very good.